nothing like another 4am start on a weekend and today I think it's going to be my well this weekend is going to be like my biggest ride started off in Bristol well French eh? um, and then basically doing 610k up to the north of Wales and back down and it is hilly AF Bluebells. Ah! He's so pretty. You've not seen much from me because to be honest, <laughs> I feel pathetic for saying this already. I've been struggling a bit. It's probably about 100k, 1200 meters. I was just really tired. I, I, I contemplated like pulling over and having half an hour nap. But weird how it happens. You just carry on and I feel fine now. Just about to do a climb um, from Church Stratton called, I think it's the Burway. Let me know if any of you've done it. This is like 20% at the bottom. We'll see. That is steep, but it's stunning. But it's really long. Oh God. I'm not even at the end of it yet, but I would give that a, a solid 10 out of 10 for a good climb steep but not crazy like Park Rash but just the views I'm just crossing to Wales oh. the Welsh climbs have defeated me it's because I couldn't see what was around that corner and I was a bit scared yeah it's pretty steep and gravelly about 200 and Oh, I don't even know. Get your time flagging. Just another 400k to go. Oh, I can't even think about that. Oh, this one just keeps going. And it's so crap on the floor. I'll do steep ones when they're... Oh God, I can't even push it up. Oh, when there's grip. But there's gravel and twigs and branches and brambles. No, 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 no! This probably doesn't even look bad on GoPro, but look at the state of that. Rather than showing you the crappy surface, look how nice that view is. Where are you sleeping? That's what you were saying, Chris, if we went to the Now we get the pleasure of a uh, horseshoe pass. However, I was like looking at it before and I was like, oh, it's nice steady climb that. And I'm like, no, of course not on this route. We're going the, I think it's the old way, which is way steeper. Shorter, but steeper. So pretty though, look. What the hell is that? Can you, oh my God. Well, I think it's just an illusion. I'm gonna pretend it's just an illusion and ride it. The first bit that looked really menacing wasn't and the bits that looked okay were the tough bits. Oh, how's that work? Oh, I think we're at the top now. Bloody hell, there's a bed and breakfast up here. And I can see the road on that side. I'm like, that looks like a lovely, nice road to ride up. That was a brute. Right on that, I think it's called Moed. Oh, I can't think what it's called. I came here once before with a few friends, but look at this view, are you ready? Look at that. And that over there is Snowdonia. About 300 and... 302k and my bed for the night is at, I'll say for the night for a couple of hours is at 395 so another 90k or so and it's 8pm <laughs> I don't know whether you can hear them but there's just so many sheep and lambs 
and the field the other side of me just they're so noisy oh it's just so nice oh. Oh, just enjoying the last bit of sunshine I don't even know what this climb is called but I think it is probably one of my favourite climbs I've ever done. I think it makes it even nicer it's like at sunset but really steady gentle climb, epic views and loads of sheep. So good. Views like this is like one of the reasons why I want to do this. Like, I, oh, this place. This is a massive, massive high of this ride. Just stunning. Just so good. I'm about 325k in, 5,300 meters. I've got about 70k. Moon, stars, the gate. a few hours sleep and look who's sat here watching me while I get dressed. Hello? I've got to go. <laughs> a guy nearly pulled out on me and then he just went thumbs up and then he pointed for me to go and I'm like, thank you very much. That is breakfast. Oh yeah. Up another climb. But look at those hills. So pretty. And the Welsh people that I've well, spoken to only this morning really because everyone was in the houses last night. All the cars have stopped on the hills up. They've all pulled over for me. I'm like, thank you. Because it was really steep. And then I stopped off at a garage this morning to get that food. And he was so nice, he was asking me where I was going, what I'm up to, and I was just like, wow, that's amazing, do you want a tea or coffee? Is there anything I can get for you? And I was like, God, that's so nice. This is like an AK climb, but I've just got my favorite music on, and just beautiful, absolutely stunning. Love it. I'm having a moment. So the total distance is about 500k and you think, oh, 100k to go, really close. But that 100k has got about two and a half thousand meters climbing and I've already done about eight and a half thousand. And <laughs> that's like I'm moaning, I am moaning. Oh my God. This climb is like 3k, I'm not walking 3k. I have to get back on in a minute. But oh my god, it's hard. Really hard. This has probably been the hardest bit of the whole ride. Apart from that horrible gravel bit. This is tough. I think it's mentally as well, like knowing there's 100k, but the kilometers are going by so slowly. And there's just so much more climbing on little piddly steep things that don't really make a dent in it. Oh God. My body feels fine though, maybe it's just my head that needs a, a shake. 
All right, I'm gonna get back on, I think. Yeah, this doesn't look too bad now. Oh, God. Okay, more grumpiness later. This climb is about 10 kilometers long and I'm flagging and then out of nowhere, it's not even at the top of the hill, it's still a couple of, two and a half K left. I see this. I've got a coat, which I don't normally have. And then a squish wrap from this morning. Oh, bliss. I am so over, I mean, I think I'm gonna say hills, not hills, lanes. There are so many lanes on this route. It is, it's driving me mad. Like last night in the dark, I was just getting like, oh, get me off. I feel like I'm in a, like, what are those? Like a maze, it's like a, just, there's like bushes everywhere. I feel trapped in, give me, I, I like big open views. I feel pretty good though, five, four, six. So what's that, 50K? 50K? Is it only 50K? No. 60K. This is a bit exciting. We like the side of the motorway. What? This is Link Road Path for bikes. Never seen anything like this before. Never lived. Look at it, glorious. This is really good. <gasps> Going over the bridge. I'm to ride over this bridge. So I'm pretty much at the finish now. I'm, I'm so excited. I actually feel pretty good to say how far and how much I've climbed. I feel very proud of my bod. It's honestly, this whole build axe is actually called, I've not told you, it's called Devilishly Elegant. No, yeah, Devilishly Elegant and it's all the places we've been to, just top, pretty, lovely, quaint places. So, yay, I'm at the finish. I'm so excited. I was so nervous before doing it. Post Ordax Glam, a hoodie and a bit of lip balm. Um, but I've been thinking like when I've been doing this video is, and that I wanted to make it all about like why I do it. And obviously you get to see like all, like some of the main reasons are that I get to explore and see so many different amazing places and I guess push myself. And I think one of the other reasons is that I really want to like, I guess challenge myself for like, I don't know, being more self-sufficient. I'm, I'm pretty independent and I think sometimes maybe to a bit of a fault, um, but I've not always been like that. And I think like, as a kid, I definitely wasn't like that. And for example, my mum had to use, she used to have to pass me over the fence because I was too scared to walk around the front of the house. Like that's how unadventurous I was. And even when I started riding, I would always want to go out with other people that had like a specific route. Like I didn't want to be the one that was responsible for it. I feel like this, even like when I started doing Audax, like the overnight thing, I was always trying to make sure that I was with other people for that like overnight bit. And then doing stuff like this, it just gives me that opportunity to be able to push my boundaries like that bit further. And I think no matter for you, if you are wanting to change or, oh God, sorry, I'm looking at my hands, I look a right mess. Um, change or push yourself, no matter how old you are or what you want to change, then, I guess for me, like this just does it for me. And like going like after like last night, so I'm not making much sense. I'm just tired and I'm hungry. Um, we got food and I could have waited in the past. I would have waited with those guys and like set off into the dark together. And I was like, I want to go on my own purposely. I want to go and do that on my own because I feel like sometimes that's like a fear. And I think being able to go and then do that. I just think I'm like, oh, I'm extra proud. Like I'm so, I don't know. Anyway, that was a long rambling bit of video. So I'll uh, see you on the next video. <laughs> on that note, thank you for watching. I'm gonna leave um, the link to um, the Audax below. It's so, like, it's just proper nice, good organizing. And um, yeah, so I'll leave a link below. Thank you so much for watching. See you next video. Think about, a col probably not even that. Actually, I think I'm probably, I think I'm at the finish. Figure out where I'm going. This isn't the way we came out though. Which way? This doesn't look familiar.